Greetings, my name is Killy, and I, like you, am very concerned about the decline of honeybees in our country and world, and if you're like me, you've pondered what we as individuals can do to think globally and act locally to reverse that tragic and perilous trend. Although I am by no means an agricultural expert, nor do I claim to be, I have been tending my plot in a local community garden for about 10 years, and this has enabled me to observe and learn many things. One thing I've learned, and I'm quite excited about it, is of the existence of a certain variety of basil, blue spice basil to be precise, which was brought to my attention by a fellow gardener. I was fascinated about how easily she said it would grow, and how tasty it is as an edible herb, and how it can be used in cooking, salads, as an edible bouquet. It can even be used to infuse vodka for basil-flavored Bloody Mary cocktails. And I learned something else. Honeybees just love blue spice basil nectar. It wasn't until I had grown my own blue spice basil from rooted cuttings that I realized what a multi-purpose plant this really is. One day, as I stood watering my plot, I noticed out of my peripheral vision how this plant, with its long, graceful strands of tiny violet flowers, seemed to throb with bees. The bush was literally buzzing with them as they flitted about nectaring from the buds. It got me thinking. Here is an herb that thrives without much water and no fertilizer, easy to grow, easy to maintain, very tasty to the human palate, undisturbed by major pests, but literally adored by honeybees. Best of all, it could be grown from cuttings and rootings. I grew this bush from a rooted cutting like this one. It costs nothing to do so and provides bees and other nectaring creatures with untainted sources of sustenance. Blue spice basil is quite common in local yards and gardens. There are even a few growing in the courtyard of the Pasadena Center. But I know from talking to folks that the properties and potential of this giving plant remain unknown but to few. What if we could compel as many of our members as possible to create a safe haven for these important cross-pollinators by having each of them grow their own blue spice basil in their gardens, flower beds, even in pots on their patios and balconies? The world would be saved! Okay, I'm getting overly dramatic here, but you get the idea. The good news is that we can indeed, in our own small ways, make a difference for the bees, for ourselves, and for the planet. I welcome this opportunity to pass along what I've learned and encourage those of you who are interested to grow blue spice basil yourselves, share it with others, and encourage them to do the same. I believe that Shume members, such as yourselves, whose strong commitment to natural gardening and the promotion and preservation of the Earth's environment is part of the fabric of the Shume philosophy, are the perfect candidates for the Blue Spice Basil Project. I sincerely hope that my message, now that I have delivered it, will inspire you and others to think globally, act locally, and benefit our honeybees in ways that will ultimately benefit us too. With your help, we can educate others as to what a giving herb blue spice basil really is and how we can utilize it to help bees and other cross-pollinators survive in our oftentimes hostile environment. Thank you so much for your time and interest.